Your wait may be over if you've been eagerly anticipating word on a possible boost in your Social Security benefits. Talks from recently are emerging, suggesting that there might be more advantages. It's important to examine the larger legislative situation before getting too enthused about the 3.2% cost of living adjustment scheduled for January 1, 2024. Legislators are presently examining bills that may have an effect on Social Security payouts in addition to the impending change. The topic of income taxes for Social Security recipients is one important factor being examined. For many years, the income levels that result in Social Security benefit taxes, which are $25,000 for single people and $32,000 for couples, have not changed. This is a problem, particularly given that Social Security's cost of living adjustments are expected to climb by 3.2% this year, following an 8.7% increase last year. Senator Pete Ricketts of Nebraska sponsored the Social Security Check Tax Cut Act in September as a reaction to this problem. The eventual elimination of federal taxes on Social Security benefits is the goal of this proposed law. Ricketts sees a phased approach, taking inspiration from a successful campaign in Nebraska to remove state taxes on Social Security benefits. According to the law, there would be a 10% tax cut in the first year and a 20% tax cut in the second. Congress might then keep phasing out taxes by 10% annually until full Social Security income is tax-free by 2033. It's important to remember that not everyone would see an increase in income as a result of the proposed law because not everyone pays income taxes on their Social Security benefits. Most citizens of the United States pay no income tax at all. But the tax problem continues to be the main emphasis especially since Social Security's trust fund is expected to run out of money by 2034. The present conversation is on possible changes to the rates at which Social Security benefits are taxed. The tax rate would climb by 8% to 13.2% if lawmakers approve the increase. The question of whether benefits should be phased down or taxes should be eliminated is being discussed concurrently. Achieving this difficult balance means raising benefits for beneficiaries without hastening the Social Security Trust Fund's bankruptcy. This complex situation highlights how difficult it will be to come up with a long-term solution for Social Security. In order to increase benefits, more money is needed, and some ideas call for taxing affluent people and big businesses. Democratic support for a fair share of taxes from the wealthy adds another level of complication to the political scene. It's unclear which ideas will gain traction as talks go on, but the imminent insolvency date in 2034 is the main reason for the urgency. In the absence of a settlement, Social Security beneficiaries may see a substantial cut in benefits of 22 to 23 percent. Although some people want to see higher income limits before taxes are imposed, the whole taxation debate is still very much alive and well. In summary, the current state of Social Security benefits is characterized by continuing debates and legislation that seeks to resolve important matters including income taxes for beneficiaries. Though it is significant that a 3.2% cost of living increase is anticipated in 2024, legislators are exploring other issues that go beyond this immediate adjustment. The income thresholds that have been in place for decades and are responsible for taxing Social Security benefits are one of the main issues being looked into. There are issues with this static framework, particularly in light of the rising cost of living increases for Social Security beneficiaries. The Social Security Check Tax Cut Act, a bill introduced by Senator Pete Ricketts, provides a step-by-step -step plan to eventually remove federal taxes on Social Security benefits. This proposal, which was sparked by a fruitful state-level endeavor in Nebraska, would eliminate all Social Security income taxes by 2033 with a gradual decrease in taxes over the years leading up to that date. It's important to understand that not everyone would see an increase in income as a result of the proposed law, because not everyone pays income taxes on their Social Security benefits. Resolving the tax issue is the main priority, especially in view of Social Security's trust funds anticipated insolvency by 2034.